Okay, so I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded anything, whether it's uh, comic dubs or even unboxing type of videos. And uh, I've had many attempts to make something, something uh, YouTube worthy. And over the past few months now, it's been kind of difficult trying to get myself to do something because I'm actually recording off an iPad and editing off an iPad is not easy. It's not the same as using a computer. So there's just uh, little things I can do to upload. But um, enough of that. I'm actually here for a reason. Over the past few months, I've seen constant posts of things floating around, whether it's like a combination of Sour Patch related things like Sour Patch Kids ice cream, Sour Patch Kids uh, cereal, and protein shake. Yes, that exists. And um, now, as of recently, I mean about a month ago, there was uh, another Sour Patch related thing, and I have it right here. The Sour Patch Kids Chips Ahoy. Yes, that's right. Sour Patch Kids did a collaboration with Chips Ahoy to make cookies. And I since, uh, since I thought, I've done a few videos in the past where I tried sour, sour uh, peeps, watermelon peeps. That was my favorite video. And uh, Reese's Puffs, um, I've tried. That was not much of a combination, much of something I just wanted to try. And since I've made food related things, I thought, you know what? Let's just record something food related. So yeah, I've prepped myself up for this. I got milk, um, I'm gonna try it with milk, try it without the milk, and overall the taste of it. Because some people are actually wondering, um, what does it actually taste like? It says someone uh, on Twitter, I think it was Weather, what, weather, weather Witch, who asked, what is it? She's been wondering, what does it taste like? So I'm gonna be doing something on her behalf, on everyone's behalf, eating these things. So, first of all, uh, let me just show you this. You got the Sour Patch Kids logo, got the kids, and you can see the, the uh, I believe, the Sour Patch Kids bits are in the cookie. And even the, the chips are dye colored. I'm not sure they're flavored as well. Obviously, that'll make it even worse because it's gonna be even more sour than it needs to be. Um, yeah, these are limited editions, so there's going to be probably a limited stock of these things. So if you want to try them, be able to just go to the store with your mask on. That's right, we're staying healthy. I ain't letting anybody on YouTube get, you know, sick. Not even my subscribers. So, stay safe if you're trying to make these things. Um, yeah, so these are limited. Well, there's not really much to talk about. They're just kind of like, just cookies. I mean, they just say sour, sweet, and gone. I don't know what they mean by gone, they're going to say I'm going to die. Just, 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 okay, I'm kind of nervous now. Just, just say that. So, for my own time fans, I'm going to just uh, do a bit of ASMR because this mic is right here. So, uh... Ooh, that is open. Oh, oh, there we go. So, so the first thing we need to... Oh my gosh, I smelled it. Oh, I was just about to see him learn to do the smell test. <laughs> I got a good whiff of the cookies. But uh, before I actually just pick them up, let me show you them real quick. They're a bit browner than I expected. On the uh, on the packaging, it looks a bit lighter, but they do look just kind of like crispy, brown, cooked, baked cookies. Um, overall smell, Whoa, <laughs> okay, uh, it smells like lemon meringue pie. I'm not lying, it smells like lemon pie, straight up lemon pie. Um, well, first off, uh, since we got the cookie out anyways, it's now it's gonna be coming the taste test, and then we're gonna try the milk taste test, just to see how they uh, overall taste and feel, because there's three factors, taste, feeling, and Enjoyment. <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of didn't make it up on the spot. All right, so just try this raw. Let's see how this tastes in the mic.
Wow. Um, whoa. Uh, wow. I'm not even complaining. This is actually pretty solid. I mean, it's it's really weird. That's the thing. It's weird. It's like, it's chewy. And I know certain people like to have chewy, but the thing is, it really just straight up feels like they just put Sour Patch Kids, threw them in there, and made some cookies. There's nothing to like much say about it. It's just cookies and Sour Patch Kids in the cookie. It's, I mean, it smells like lemon meringue pie. It, um, it has the tang. It's, it's really a chewy, kind of like, it makes a bit of, um, like a minute for it to crumble. But it's not bad. It really is not that bad. So, yeah. My complaint is like, of course, it's Sour Patch Kids. They're gonna get stuck in your teeth, this gummy candy. Um, all right, so that's just trying it raw, but now what does it taste like with the milk? So I got my glass of cold milk, not sponsored um, by any sort of milk, nor Chips Ahoy, nor Sour Patch Kids um, are sponsoring this video. I am a lover of Sour Patch Kids, just to highlight that if anyone from Sour Patch would like to contact me or anything, you know. Oh, gosh, I'm just, just... That was a computer. That's not mine, it's my mom's. So I'm using this to record the audio. Um, yeah. So, milk taste test. So, let me just drink some milk. Let me just clean my palate a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, so we're gonna just try it dipped and see how this overall taste it feels. Number rule, well, number one rule about dipping cookies. Dip it for seven seconds. I'm not sure that was seven seconds, but hey, uh, let's see how that, let's see, it looks like it's ready to eat, so maybe this will make it less chewy. Mmm. Let me try it again. Um, it, okay. Um, so the overall texture, I guess I can describe it. It's like raisin, uh, like a raisin cookie feel. As it feels kind of like crumbly, that's her um, texture. Uh, the milk overall it didn't soften up a bit, but it doesn't matter. It's still Sour Patch Kids in the freaking uh, cookies. Uh, for the sour factor, there's not much sour in the cookie as I would expect it to be for the Sour Patch Kids. So, Sour Patch, you overall kind of downsize the sourness. Which maybe is a good thing, because some people maybe not want sour cookies. That sounds kind of wrong in a way. So it's just it's just what it is. It's just sour patch kids inside of a cookie. I mean, overall, yeah. Was about to give it a rating from a scale of five, one to five. I'll just give it about a three. To be fair, I mean, it's kind of. I'm not gonna be coming back in these constantly. I do have to finish these. That's the one thing. But I know that there's something that doesn't meet my expectations, and now I know, man, I gotta finish all of these by myself just because I wanted to try it. And, you know, I wanna have a good time having the experience of trying something new. And when it's disappointing, it's like, man, now I gotta finish all of it. I mean, it's a small package of cookies, but man, there's even uh, like a Chips Ahoy Reese's cookie, and that's even better than these, because it's, it adds to the flavor, but these are just kind of like, you know, like, whatever, just like some Sour Patch Kids cookies, 
again, these aren't terrible. They're nowhere near like terrible. Like you shouldn't eat them, but it's just kind of what it is. It's not. That isn't. That's not very exciting. You want to just have a cookie? That's you know. You want to just like you can't stop yourself from eating them, and you just keep going back for more. These just taste like okay. If you want to try them, go ahead. I mean. There's nothing much to really add to it, just Sour Patch Kids instead of a cookie. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. What else you can really say? Um, anyways, yeah, this is just a quick little video just to see what these cookies taste like. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good night or day, whatever time you're watching this. Um, stay safe, uh, stay blessed, and take care. It's pretty warm.